Hi, and welcome for this new tutorial about Cyril. So if you don't know about Cyril, I encourage you to go to this page and discover to discover more about itself, it. And if you know a little bit about image staking and preprocessing, we can go directly to download and choose your operating system, for my case is Windows, and download it and install it. When it's done, then we'll go through the tutorial and the pre-processing of your image. So the big new feature about Cyril is that you have a new scripts add in the options, which are dedicated to DSLR's users. So if you know a little bit about all the text for image uh, astrophotography, you know that you have to make some uh, calibration images and then calibrate your RAW files, so your lights, uh, with these images. And it's quite a long process to do when you do it manually. You still can do it going through the, the conversion of your, of your files, creating sequences and preprocess all of them and registr registrate and then stack them. So now, uh, with all these files, you can use just two clicks to preprocess your image and stack them, which choices you have are here. So I'm sorry, I have the, the English and French version. So, but you you should have only those eight choices here. So first of all, we'll get we'll have to check this part. This part is the current working directory in which you should find um, all your folders in which you will have to put all your row files. So as you can see, this is the French version, so I'll have to change it. So the, the, first, things, uh, the first thing that Serial do when you install it is creating files, folders, sorry, into your picture folder. They're here, so bias, darks, flat, and lights. So my advice is to delete themes, delete these, uh, or just cut these and put them into a new folder that you will create create somewhere else. And for my part, I did. Uh, I have a special drive for Cyril in which I put my working directory here. So in this one, I just paste the folder, and I just paste all the files for my calibration uh, images and the lights. So for this tutorial I will use uh, some lights that I did a few a few weeks ago which uh, is about the um, this flaming star nebula IC405. So I just took like 50 51 images I think just so that the process will be quite uh, fast and I did all the mm, all the calibration images to run the, the full process darks I have like a dozen of darks and offsets like something like 40 so I'm just telling you all that because it's so simple that uh, if I just showed you the the process to do the to do it it will be just like four or five clicks and uh, it will be done so just you know like uh, talking around so now we'll just have to click this button and the process will go oh sorry I did well I didn't do what I was advising you to do so I didn't change the directory which I'm going to do right now which is this one I open it, so current working directory, this is it, and now it should be, oh, not all right, yes, so there might be an error in some directory, I guess it's this one, Do that again. There we go. So 
as you can see, this is always interesting to make mistakes because it reminds you that uh, computers and stuff like that are very, uh, you know, uh, precise and they need the right, uh, the right letters in the word. So be careful with that. So as you can see, it all started by itself and you have nothing else to do until you get your stacked image. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more just to explain you all the different uh, pre uh, scripts that you can find. So there is eight scripts. So what the, this first one is about pre-processing your images with all the BIAS files. This one is with the BIAS file and the cosmetic correction with Drizzle with the two precedent ones and the other different uh, situation that uh, most of beginners uh, encounter with uh, because they don't do dark flats or BIAS. So if you don't do dark, you have a, an option here, no flat, you have another option here and with no flat and no dark, dark and nothing at all. And this one is really, really quick to use. So that's mostly all about the new scripts. You just have to do a few clicks and then you have your, your image. Mm, someone made a little um, add-on, I would say, which allow you to create your own script. And this is something I don't really master uh, for now, so I'm not going to tell you more about it, but just to tell you that it exists. And I might, I'm going to try to find it for you and maybe it could be useful for you. While the, the process is uh, running. So hold on a bit and uh, I'll see you around when it's uh, so as you can see, the work is still in progress, and uh, I found the page I was willing to show you, which is this one. So I'm sorry, it's in French, uh, but if you're a little bit into computer and coding, uh, you might find this one useful, especially if you're um, a CCD camera user or CMOS one as well, and if you want to create uh, specific scripts for your uh, personal use of uh, Cyril and the way you make your own acquisition, then you can uh, work on uh, coding scripts with as this utility. So I will let uh, you um, translate all uh, what is said here uh, because I'm not really into that, but just be uh, uh, advised that this exists and you can use it if and it's still working. So, see you in a while. So I'm back and the work is done. So it took 13 minutes to do it all and all the work is done. So there are PP lights stacked with all the work done described in here. So you can see, see the registration, the pre-processing, -pre uh, here, so I did all, all of it automatically. So it's normal not to have anything uh, appearing here. Um, so it'll just create the image, but you still have to open it to see the result, which is here. So you will find the result. It gives always the same name, result. So I advise you to change the name immediately. So if you're doing a lot of processing, you will not, uh, you know, mess with uh, all the different files that you can create. Start Nebula. You can as well add, uh, you, know, you know, like the, the exif of your image, like 50, 480, 490 second at uh, 60 ISO etc etc so most of the time I, I write the specs that I used to do my image uh, like even the mount the filters uh, the number of files the 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 DSLR used if it's modded or unmodded 
So I tried to write everything on this file because it's not easy to find all those data somewhere else. So as it written on the, the name, you can have it all just in a one, uh, one glance. You can open it and here it is. So you have your two windows, so the RGB image and the black and white with the three color RGB channels. So first thing is if you want to see your image is to go here to the display mode and change the value to auto stretch and it's going to give you the potential of your image. And this is most about the script that I can say. It's very simple to use, uh, very fast and very uh, relaxing. You just have a few clicks to do and then you can go to, I don't know if you have a lot of uh, pictures, you can go shopping, you can go and uh, see a movie or something else, play with your kids as well on the outside. So now it's ready to be edited with all the image processing tool that you can find here and this is going to be for another tutorial sorry for the noise i got got some cats messing around so thank you for watching just feel free to comment and uh, put your question in the comments join us on the dslr european uh, astrophotographer group on facebook uh, if you're French or easy with French, we have a French group as well, which is pretty um, collaborative. And so, hope you you enjoyed this video. Sorry for my bad English, and uh, I'll try to do my best for the next ones. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and uh, say what you think about all this. Goodbye.